<laughs> You're a child, bro. Yo, welcome back to In Our Bubble with your host Oscar and David. David and Oscar, however your mom likes it. Uh, we got a guest on. We'll tell you guys a little bit about him. Then he's going to tell you guys a little bit about him. But yeah, man. Today we have our dear friend, patriot, brother, uncle, um, father of the Mr. Mr. Connor. Glad to have you on. What's, What's happening? Uh, yeah, no, I'm How your biggest real? friend. Actually, in, actually, I've not listened to the past two episodes, but I listen to every episode. I need to catch up. <laughs> but yeah, man. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been lacking, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm a big fan of your podcast. You know? I'm, not, I'm not even capping. I actually oh, thank like you, it. bro. Thank yeah. you, bro. It means a lot. Oh, it means that, a lot. Much love. So, so since you're not listening to the podcast on a regular, how do you, how do you use your time? Because how do I, what just on yeah, a daily basis? Because you should be listening to this like all day long, every day, any day. Can't be lacking. <laughs> Your your episodes aren't real enough to listen to every day. Bro, I can listen to it on my run and I'm still running by the time it's ended. Ooh, you're right. Okay. You know I mean? Bro, you need longer episodes. As a, as a fan. Yeah, lo- you know I mean? Longer episodes. Longer. Okay, okay. You know, keep listening and, you know, go yeah. in David's DMs and let him know. Then we'll have longer episodes. <laughs> Say no more, man. Say no more. Usually when we have guests, we have longer episodes. Oh, but when it's like, like just me and Oscar, we do like 30 yeah. minutes. Man, your episode with the Swedish girls, I really like that one. It is over. That's probably my favorite one. The one with the Swedish girls. Yeah. Listen to the one with Kevin. Yeah, what's the new one? That was yeah, the what's the new one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's asking me to listen to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was supposed to be here, yeah, but I don't man. know. The Irishman. What, can you speak on this episode? Yeah. yeah, should I wake him up? Wait, you, do you live with him? What? Because yeah, I, I heard you him. were speaking to Kevin. Yeah, I'll get him. Bro, I've got that geese up, man. All right, I'll get him. Sorry. If you want to, okay, so, so I'll have Man. to cut this part out. Nice. <laughs> now, nah, we could we could just have a conversation in between. Yeah, this. we'll probably cut, but it's all right. I have a question for you. Uh, whilst, whilst Dave is gone, would you prefer 100k or uh, a million if you can shake Drake's hand within a month? So, you have to try and shake Drake's hand within a month, or would you take 100k? So, shake Drake's hand okay. for a mil. We'll get 100 Check Drake yeah. stands for a mil. I'll get 100k. Oh. So yeah, you have a you have a month to do that. Do you think you can in do a it month. in a month? And he can't he can't, he can't know that you get a million for okay. shaking his hand. Like he, okay, he has okay. So idea. I have to find a means to get to Drake, shake his hand just like that, without him being aware I'm getting yeah. something out of it in the month. Absolutely, yeah. 100k or shake Drake's hand, yeah. bro. I take the money. Take the money. Same. I take I 100k well. because the thing is. Yeah, it's mad expensive to even try to get to him. Like you'd be down, you'd be down by the time yeah. you could. You could yeah, I, our guy is like all over the place. You don't know if he's actually in Toronto, or maybe he's beside me in the next in the next house, or if he's yeah. Also, he, he might he might just be inside for a month. He might decide I don't want to do it for a month, and then there's no way. Yeah, and he's Drake. Like that man, he has like he. He just he's just one call away from being on the other side of the planet. So I know people will be willing to do that. Maybe you need money, man, and you need connections. I think. So you will take Drake to shake his hand. Um. No, 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 no. I wouldn't. Why not? <laughs> okay. Like, I, 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 bruv, I live in I live in England as well. Like you're you're far closer now, to look, him. Look, look at this in this way. Like you get me. Obviously, we said we take the hundred k. You get a million. You have to probably spend. I, 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 it should actually be a k in a million to be million to be fair. Because that actually makes it. Actually, to be honest, I'd take a k, bro. Wait. I would take a, a k. k. Genuinely. <laughs> okay. Bro, I should. Be a no, no, no. Hey, bro. <laughs> right, actually, I have another. I have another question for you on this. Yeah? Uh, How much? What? What's? The, what's the things that you put on your chest to like when you're dying? Okay. You go. What's that thing? Defibrillator. Uh, What's that? What is that? Yeah. Oh, Charger. yeah. Clear. Yeah, but right, so how much money would you need to get to do that to yourself? Like, you're fine, but how, to, to take a shot on a defibrillator, how much do you take? Bro, how much, how much money? How much do you, how much do you think I should get to do that? How, how, how much money would you, David, how, how much money would you would you take to have a shot on a defibrillator? How many times? Once. 
for how long? Like how long? Are they going like? No, just, a shot. just a shot on the You see how many times? You're in a hospital. You're laying, you're laying down. Doctors uh, in I on the experiment. A new camera and a good lens. And I'll do it. Bro, what? So what's that? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I said a, I said a thousand pound. I said a thousand pound. But I mean, I'm like, I'm yeah, both of you are like, This men are risking their lives. This man risk his life for a camera and a lens. You know how much a, ca- a camera is like two to three K plus like a $5,000 lens. That's like eight or $10,000. Like Bro, a hard, a hard cause literally. Since we lost saw each other to be literally, but if a hard cause way more. It usually doesn't kill people. It's more it just like wakes you up. Yeah, but if you're already okay. Bro, you know I mean, it's like lost. Uh, yeah. your, scenario, your heart I mean, is not, is your heart rate is not slowing down and they shock you that's in your dying. There's nothing of waking you up. Uh, you, I don't even die. You risk it. I feel like you die. I feel like there's some people who would probably do it. Bro, that is like 5,000 volts through your body all at once in a few seconds. <laughs> oh, it's uh, your, <laughs> your, <laughs> your heart. To... Dude, I feel like they do that. Like, do you know where I show Jackass or the movie? Jackass? Bro, that's the time. That's the type of shit they do, yeah. Bro, yeah, man, they just fucking freaking. What was a show called, uh, David? The people who usually watch Incredible uh, Jokers. In, yeah, those people. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I used to love that show. That show is so gay. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, none of you guys have watched to... Impractical Jokers do it. Yeah, man. That's crazy. Yeah, but I feel, I feel like they were too. Ba- I feel like it got fake towards the end. It was like too late. <laughs> wow. It's like, it's like surely you recognize them. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, so moving obviously, obviously we know kind of we met at North Park University in Chicago, yeah. So I just wanted to start on that base from you. Well, technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, let me. <laughs> So obviously we know kind of um we oh my god bro I don't have I'll not be editing all of this please <laughs> okay he's back that's uh, right just a bit brighter okay moving on we know we met kind of we met you at North Park University in Chicago you made a semester there if I'm not wrong or a year. No, it's semester. Bro, bro, I, was oh, gosh, I was there for the entire year. How will you forget me? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, okay. This man, this man. Hey, 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 hey a I semester. Bro, I took you. I took you to English pubs, man. No, okay, you get. Okay, my memory is not sharp right now. Okay. I'm on that David timing. Or but in yeah. <laughs> What's that? Nothing there. What? What's been your experience, you know, being in that school, uh, you know, being in America compared to, you know, the UK in terms of the culture, the people? Get me? Yeah. Want to hear your take on that? Yeah, man. It was fucking, it was fucking sick, man. Like, I think, I think Americans are fucking far nicer people than what, like, in, in England, I think around the world, Americans are given like this reputation of like being, I don't know, arrogant or like, I don't know, just like, just not nice people, but I think Americans are fucking lovely, man. And um, and yeah, man, I met some of like my my greatest friends like ever. Do you know what yeah, I mean? for sure. I got, I got I got so many friends over in America. I got so many, so many friends in England, but um, but yeah, I think overall there's just like a far more weirdly there there just feels to be like a far more less intense style of life. Like everyone's sort of on their grind, but equally enjoying sure. like day to day. Whereas I feel like in England. Like people are far more bogged down with like a lot of shit. They're far more like upset about se- like loads of shit going on. Whereas Americans don't really let it get to them. They sort of like. I think it's part. Of, I think it's part of like America's identity that they. Oh yeah. They sort of see themselves as like rising above like the challenges they have. Yeah, yeah, I see that. I see that. But don't you think like that's like everywhere? Like people always be try to be above their thing, always thinking about how to move forward, improve. I feel like in the UK, like that's more of a thing, you know, than yeah. Yeah. I think, I think, um, oh, sorry, go on. Yeah, no, I was just saying, like, I feel like in the UK, that's more of a thing than yeah. Since yeah, I I see a lot of people, like a lot of Americans, being uh, you know, they can settle for 
you know, for the bare minimum, you know, they have, you know, yeah. they're, they are making above the minimum wage. They have a good yeah. house, you know, and they have their pets, maybe no kids. They are okay. No going up, no going down. They're just steady. Get yeah. me? Yeah, but you know what I feel like? I feel like sometimes the more you have, like, the less, like, like, and obviously this is like a very general statement to make, but sometimes I feel like the more you have, the less happy you are in the sense of like, of like the sort of bare minimum of what makes you happy becomes higher because you have, you have access to more. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like, I feel yeah. like anyone in America, England, that's the bare minimum, but is getting by and they're like enjoying time with their family and they're enjoying going to like watch like a local sports team or something like that. And you're just enjoying the day to day. Like, I feel like that's a, I think that's a far better way to live than always trying to be Try better and always complaining about it. Yeah. And also, yeah. Like, to me, they're like, that's not to like disregard like genuine issues that are going on in both countries, but like just generally in terms of the people, I feel like there's a, there's mm. a, a better spirit about it. Oh, definitely. About, certainly people I met, certainly people I met, but equally like I was English. So people, people kind of were like, yeah. from enthusiastic to see me. <laughs> so that maybe they were do you know what I mean? Same way, if you if you came to England, you probably get far more people going, "Oh, you're from America." Like, do you know what I mean? That's yeah. happened. Oh, that. okay, that makes sense. So, did you um did you see like a lot of this shift in North Park? You know what you just <coughs> excuse me, what you just spoke oh, about? about... Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, say that again. Did you see any of the things you talked about at North Park? Like how what, people like, are, is in like, yeah. yeah, man, I thought, I thought people at Park were fucking sound as, like, um, to, like, I thought, I, I, certainly people were very nice to me. I know, like, I know some other Europeans came and they weren't big on it. Like, there was, like, a lot of people criticised certain things at Park, but me personally, I loved it. But, um, yeah, that's all, that's all the way I see things. I don't know. Well, what, what do you not think of North Park? Like, obviously, Oscar, you're leaving. You, uh, you're going, you're going back to Rockford. Uh, no. So you, uh, Maryland. Maryland. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what I said. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, no, um... <laughs> uh, yes. How come you're leaving? Like, for example, because I, because for me personally, like, I thought my experience was fucking sick. Like, if I, if I could spend four years there, I would. Obviously, I was. No, for sure. Because I want to mention too, like your presence in the school, like there was this shift of energy, you know. Okay, let me not be talking like a spiritual. <laughs> this shift of energy. Like you know, the, you brought this aspect. By the way, just on that, by the way, I was mad nervous when you were doing the intro, yeah? You were mad complimenting me. By the way, can I say thank you? That was actually mad sweet. That little intro was mad sweet. Oh, for real. When you were doing it, I was like, oh, yeah. I got you. I was trying to act there cool, but by the way, thank you. That was actually mad nice. Hey, I got you. Uh, you came to the building. You know what time it is. She doesn't listen to UK rap. And also, whilst we're on this, because we haven't properly spoken since, since America. I'm going to yeah. big up my boys as well. You lot are fucking G's. I love you both, you know. Oh. Uh, it's guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up, bro? Hey, hey, appreciate it. Man. Yeah, we haven't talked that much, hey. except for like a couple yeah, calls, like, like I'll couple say. Calls. Like a couple yeah. phone calls. And yeah, empty man. snaps. Yeah. <laughs> and empty <laughs> snaps. <laughs> well, wait, one thing. How's the music? <laughs> How's music going? Bro, I've got an album coming. I've got an album coming out in like a week and a half. Okay. Um. So yeah, bro. Like I'm gassed. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for you two to hear it, man. I'm excited for everyone. Yeah, I'm excited for it to be out, man. But um, yeah, man. I'm I'm gassed. So yeah, music's going very well. Uh, Ooh. well, hopefully very well. Let's see how let's see how the album's received. But um, but yeah, man. All right. On the subject of music, what got yeah. you into it? Um, I don't know, man. I I, I think yeah, I just started doing it one day. It was weird. It was like. Uh, properly, I started doing it properly like my last year of, of what we call secondary school, so high school. Oh. Um, uh, and yeah, but but like I only released my first song when I was like first year. Yeah, man. I saw like what, what got you into photography like, for me, at least seeing you, it seemed like one day you just started doing it and you were sick. Do you know what I mean? Doing what? Uh, ho hopefully, one day I'll be good. Nah, joking, but I one mean, day you'll be good. You anyway. are good. What you mean? Yeah. Nah, but like, but like the songs I've released on Spotify now are like, and not my best. I feel like this album, I'm really like. What's yeah, the one about I, summer? I, I'm not. 
the one about Summer was goaded. I like that one. What, Summer 60? That's the worst song, no, not, I appreciate no, the it. One that That's the worst. School. The one... Oh, sorry, Quarantine Summer. Yeah, yeah. Quarantine Summer. That one is... Uh, I, I like think... the visuals behind Thank it, you, too. Bro. Like, all the pictures from when you were at North Park and things like that. Yeah, that was uh, that was emotional. Oh wait, oh wait, which, I don't know which yeah, one this is. The making wait was it uh, when you when you were leaving like the Instagram yeah. post. Oh, no, yeah, yeah that was, I like I like Kofi Far West. Yeah, yeah. I like that song. So, anyway, so the production sick on the production sick on all of them. It's just yeah. that I feel like the best stuff is this next album. Like okay, that's how I feel personally. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. But, um. But yeah, bruv. Um, what, what, what's your plans for the podcast? Like, where, where do you see this podcast going? Do you think this could be like a full time occupation type thing, or is this just like a side hustle? Or what's the situation? Well, I, well, I'll just say at this point, we're just enjoying doing it. Like, yeah. it's not like it's a money, we're not putting on the money route because obviously, as, as long as you put yourself out there. You put your mm. con- you always improve the content and the marketing and the production, you know. True. You keep going to places that you will not expect. Uh, it's also a way of talking to people. So the know, more time you can have conversations on face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because we're not fully there yet, but we're yeah. like doing decent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sweet man. Nice advice. Um what, what, like, do you, is it one of them ones where you think the the further it goes, like you're just sort of seeing what happens, like you're just sort of putting your best into it and then seeing what happens. And yeah, playing by like that. Yeah, playing by exactly. ear. Yeah, we just need to keep upping the thing. Keep producing, yeah. Keep putting yeah. stuff up. Which I said, up. Upping the content and Lads, the production. If you could, if you could get eaten by any animal, which animal would you be eaten by? <laughs> a mouse no an ant an ant a mouse no an ant I spoke to someone earlier today and they said an ant they said an ant as well because it uh, oh, yeah. literally kill an ant either. Wait, wait, it would be just like a long, a long death that wouldn't like if anything you'd live longer because an ant yeah. can't eat you really can it oh wait no I, I know I know what a vegetarian a vegetarian <laughs> what kind of animal well, is that I heard before yeah I heard before I heard before Man, <laughs> I, 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 let, let, let's say it's an animal that like will kill you, will kill, oh, you, will kill you within an animal. Do that. Will kill you within like an a animal. honey badger. A honey, but what is that? What is that? You know, like the video about like the honey badger don't give a shit. Like the, it's like the you know, like the Wisconsin, Wisconsin has the badger. It's the mascot. Oh yeah, it's like that, but like ten times more aggressive. I uh-huh. think really, yeah, that's a real thing. Yeah, look it up. Mm. It's looking kind of scary. To find out. <laughs> mm. Well, it's not animal. But I think it's something yeah. that we quick and pain. I want to get punched by a kangaroo. A kangaroo. Uh, <laughs> punch or is that like a thing yeah, that was like, so. made up? Yeah, I don't know. But it'd be kind of cool though. If it's not a mountain lion, <laughs> then a mountain no lion animal is eating. Yeah. 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 I want to have an open casket, like so I don't want something that'll just like rip me to shreds. <laughs> yeah, I'm finding that thing with my bare hands. Mountain you know? lion be fucking terrifying. Yeah, that obviously it has to be really. It's gonna kill you. What about you? I just think. So. I don't know. Uh, what what animals kill you straight away? That's what you want, really, isn't it? You just want something that will like it's probably venomous. Probably. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, probably. actually, a snake. To be fair, if you probably die, any you animal will kill you straight away. No, no, bro. Lions, like, like, I think some pe- animals like play with like, you before they kill you. Bro, chimpanzees do that, yeah. apparently. Oh yeah. Or, like bear, bareback gorillas. Do that. Yeah, so that one's that one's yeah, going straight away. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even hear the joke. Bro, I, I... <laughs> I, I had another question for Panda before we st- this man starts calling me all the <laughs> all the races of monkeys in the world. Wait, what's this? Okay, so Connor, <laughs> Connor, I know you, I know you I know you do music and obviously I know your your brother is an actor. 
which says a lot about you know this um family you know your family being in this art space like what you know what correlation is there you know between your brother being an actor you you i think you've done also acting in the past and yeah. you're doing music too you're pursuing music so talk a bit about you know what put you guys on this you know part on this part of doing nah. arts that's it yeah there's literally no reason man we, we don't like we don't like our family like aren't specifically like artsy like it's not like my grandfather was an actor and like we, we like literally just our brothers i think it's we just went to acting classes as kids so like i think we just became like confident with like just doing shit like that do you know what i mean that oh, was like re- that was like really like cause we were rubbish at sports to be honest like we all love sport but we were rubbish at it so we went acting classes and all three of us okay. were you rubbish like, at, you're not rubbish at soccer or football uh, bruv, tell my English friends that, bruv. Tell my English friends. I get, cri- I get criticised, bruv. I think you get a football person. But, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, like, as, a, as a kid, I was trash. But um, but yeah, man. So I thought uh, we, we just did acting classes as kids and like, I, d- I did it for, for a long time and stopped when I was a teenager. Uh, Owen, I think my oldest brother, he'd done the same. Stopped, stopped, very, stopped quite late. And then N- Niall, my, my middle brother, he he still does it. Um, yeah. And yeah, I think I, to be honest, I think it's just coincidence, really. Like we're just. Mm, okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, best coincidence, you know. You guys are on the good yeah, way. Complain. And I had the opportunity to meet your bro. I don't know if David. Yeah, met I did. Him, uh, now I met him and your dad too. Oh, yeah. you did. Oh, well, uh, my dad as well. Yeah. yeah, your dad was your dad. Uh, sitting on. Like, yeah, also. Third... Character, my, my, like my, I love my dad, and he's he's a character. But so like, there's a, there's an element of that as well. Like we just, yeah, mm-hmm. I think I don't know. We're just a bit off, not off, off in a good way. Um, yeah, but um, but yeah, man. Oh, uh, I got a question yeah, for you. Your bro has the. Yeah. Uh, what do you? Oh, David, you still waved, man. Huh? David, David's waved. By the way, we we haven't mentioned that on the podcast. I'm what? What? David, David, I want to hear about your, your night last night. Uh, <laughs> what night yesterday? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. No, I made it up. I apologize. Oh, you mean? Oh, wait, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, oh, last God. night I stayed up till 5 a.m. talking on the phone with my friend. And then, oh, shoot. We weren't really uh, here mentally. We're a little. Um, I feel that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Never yet mentally. <laughs> That's David for you, bro. Are you, what? Are you, you're not even drunk. You're just like, or uh, are you hung over or what? I wasn't as I wasn't as drunk as him. He was like barfing and stuff. I was. I just drank like a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Barf. <laughs> We were on FaceTime. He was Wait, like, you oh, were remind- in Minnesota. <laughs> right. It reminds me the, the it reminds me the first time I went to watch the, the, the football match at the pub, uh, Liverpool. Uh was it Liverpool Man City? Liverpool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know if the all nighter. You say what? Oh, we won- I know Liverpool won that day. No, nah, it's Man City won. It's Man City won that day. We went day. twice to the pub. We went <laughs> to the Man pub City twice. won. <laughs> Bruv. We need a comment. Yeah, it... yeah, man. Oh, we need a comment. Yeah, what were you saying? Oh, we went to pub twice. Yeah. Yeah. Because you remember one you, day we you were, like, to... super tired, and then we had to, like, wake you up? Because me and Oscar was pulled that, it oh, all night. Hanging... We pulled it all night. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah, of course. We took the yeah. train, both, Yeah, both times. So I assume the, the same and, one. Oh, you had the meeting with that one girl's family or something. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> you remember? I still speak to her. She's really nice. Yeah. She, she's, she's a really good. nice girl, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's good. Yeah. You don't remember he, he oh. was on the train? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, he went the other direction. And we were like, yeah, oh, we're we're take our business. <laughs> I can't even remember that, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I think it's that day that he was because that was the second was like, day. Yeah, it was like, he like, got I drunk was, that morning. I remember hating that day, so I was like, but she, she was, was like dead sound, and like it was, it was like, her birthday meal. 
And she was like, oh, come. But her family was going to be there. Huh? Oh, shit. What's happening? Go ahead. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was for the viewers. <laughs> oh, how's that happening? What is happening? <laughs> No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Don't, um, don't worry so about it. telling me, like, <laughs> slow down. Um, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, a family was going to be so, there. Bro, I can hear myself on Oscars. It's one of your second Keep ones. going, <laughs> keep going. Let's ask you. The editing, you will not be there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's, David, it's David Ford. Is it David? What are you talking about? It's always him. He's playing 2K right now. This man has been too cute. He got he got slapped yesterday in FIFA. It wasn't enough. Bro, this guy, this guy was atting people saying, "Play me." You got, you lost after that. <laughs> he said, he "Play me." <laughs> now, you were beating yourself up, bro. And there's been no nope. mention on your Instagram about how you've lost. No, Connor, probably you play him because you know me. I don't you, have to I'm, be FIFA, bro. I gave it up. You should get it. It would be like five no, it wasn't five dollars. I don't think it's that expensive. It's like it's like twenty yeah. right now. No, it's stress, bro. Twenty points. Yeah, twenty points. I'm never playing that game again. Boom. For get what? Out of mind, no. bro, no. Yeah, play against David. No, no, no. If you beat David, then you come and play. I would, I would enjoy playing David, but bro, I, I, the last FIFA I had was like FIFA twenty or something. Wait, tw- dude, I have like twenty one. Okay. Oh shit! Wait, do you have an Xbox? Yeah. 21. I think the last one I have is 20, though. But honestly, I'm FIFA gets me too. I think FIFA's shite now. FIFA will, FIFA peaked in FIFA 17, bro. Ultimate Wait, team, I have I FIFA 17. A... <laughs> I would have oh, FIFA 17. FIFA 17 was my FIFA. I can't lie. I was good at FIFA Wait, 17. I'll, I'll play FIFA 17. Do you have an Xbox? Or... You have Xbox. Huh? I'm PS4. I'm PS4. If you get 23, it's cross platform. Uh, how much is it? Uh, 20 quid. Yeah, so it's 20, 20 quid to play with a fee. It's a big investment. Yeah, it's not that much. But then you can play bro, as much as you want. You can play me. You can play. <laughs> it's a big investment. Uh, I've been scared ever Kevin. since. I've never had money. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, you're, you're not wrong. It's an investment. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you have the stepping stones, then you have yeah, the key. Like, then you have a chance. I'm return on my investment. I'm getting emotional return because you get to beat True. David. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, after you beat me, you feel like you have a return on your investment. I just it's keep it for size. This is this is this, this is this is top. Yeah, Dude, the new the FIFA table. is supposed to be run by somebody else, though. Did it FIFA? Twenty three would be the yeah, best bro. one to get. I'm top one percent. Maybe no, not. No, because the new one is not even <laughs> by EA. Yeah, it's a. Uh, You're gonna make it like EA's, a subscription yeah, or something to play football club, something. So it's EA, yes. Yeah. What is it like? I, um, hmm. Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. I remember. <laughs> Je ne sais pas. Talk about FIFA. I remember when Connor, you know, a man was spokesperson for the Wednesday night football in Hellwig. <laughs> Hellwig is a sports wreck oh, at the school. Take me. <laughs> man, I feel so bad. You were just sending out messages. I feel so What's bad. What's that? I for, you remember you said your what friend texted me? Oh, um... Fred, I never, I Freddy. never, I never responded. To be fair, I told him to message a few people, so he probably got responses. But bro, I heard the football sessions broke down. Yeah, what you happened are. to the football? You, you, the, you, you, you happen. Nah. Yeah. Bro, there's enough of you. Bro, but you're not there. Bro, those, those those football sessions were the best of my life, man. Honestly, yeah, they, man, I loved it. I liked I, it when we went yeah. to the uh, beach. You know, yeah. When we went to the uh, beach? Do we think? Okay. Huh? Did we play football at the beach that day? Yeah, you remember me? Oh, you? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fucking sick. That yeah. was wicked. Did they ever come that down? Was to, nice. Did they ever come back come down to North Park? Yeah. Uh Sam did. Yeah. The photographer. Yeah, the guy, the yeah, photographer came. Yeah, he did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he had a missus. And then then you uh you um did photography with his missus and all that, right? Yeah. Oh he no, he's the photographer. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Do you still I, chat to him? Dude, I literally saw him uh, last week when I was at a conference. He was the photographer. Sweet, and he was like, yeah, he was like, David? And I was like, Sam? That's sick as man. And the funny, the yeah. funny thing was, Damn, that's crazy. that was after I DM'd him and asked him if I could, like, talk to him. 
about like photography and then he was like yeah it'll be a hundred dollars an hour and i was like <laughs> oh shit oh so he, he tried, he tried really? for like yeah even though we like know each other you, you've worked with him right <laughs> you don't work with him and he said a hundred dollars an hour and i was like yeah no nah. i don't think he did rest in peace david man he was a good guy bro yeah he was a good guy. I, should, I like yeah. him he's chill <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was, that was, that was, that was a nice day. Mad. Yeah, we charge you for for some photography. Yeah, knowledge. hundred an hour. If I could charge you hundred an hour to tell you people about like damn, nah. You have to bring the receipts though. Why am I paying you a hundred an hour to teach me photography? Yeah. But then the funny thing is, I talked to him during at the conference about photography for free. <laughs> No, I talked about it. Ooh, so cool moment. Too. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. What, uh, it's, it's Sam, uh, Sam's his name, yeah? yeah. Sam, Samuel Carrillo. Sticks in my head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Girl, he is a really he's like, good yeah, he's, you know. he's really nice guy. So, so is his missus. So is that, that other guy. There was a few of them. They were the, really nice the people. The couple that Oscar, like, bodied. The one girl. But Oscar bodies everyone. Um, Oscar. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I'm like that, bro. No, bro I'm here. Oscar, Oscar, I didn't. Oscar, body I didn't. <laughs> bro, <I'm... laughs> this man claims that body. I can't even like run because of Oscar. Bro, God bless you. He, not... he never means to do it. Like, he never means like this. This is Oscar. This is Oscar. Already, it's Oscar. Yeah, right I don't. Here. I literally like don't this. do that. I literally don't do that. At most, yeah. At most, yeah. <laughs> 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 that man does body shots. For a ro- it's all in the hips. <laughs> that I do not do that at all, bro. I, I like you. If you I body you, yeah, you it means I know. You. If I body you, it means you're not good on the ball. Your ball control. No, if I slide that, that you know the worst, I, I know that you are going to cross me. I have been you do one I go flying. I go flying. <laughs> That's not true. Okay, no, okay, no, nice. No, 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 if I bet, no, listen, when listen, I body you, I better touch you. If you body me, it's like you, you trying to kick a PK. That shit goes flying. I go flying, the oh. ball goes flying. That's the story. That's the end of the Bro, I can kick, P- I can kick PKs. I'm, I'm the Connor, best be penalty taker be, you be ever met. How many times have you seen Oscar? That's right, no, not... Shush, shush. Shush. Man, shush. How, no, 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 no. How many times have you seen me body no, David? Because if I body him, he will not... St- if I body you, you will not stand up. I've never bodied you the way oh, I did like with you know. or the other you big man. <laughs> if I body you, you will not stand I, up. Like, I li- I barely put my hand in front of you and get the ball because you put your hand, I have good, good ball control. Hand, I remember me and Oscar were body sparring in the gym. Yeah. We were, like, yeah, yeah body crazy. sparring and he threw but a punch. Kinda. And again, he doesn't, mean to, he doesn't mean to do it, but he's one of those geezers. He's just so strong. Anyway, it hit my, it hit my blood. <laughs> my jaw. Bro, in Hillwig, it went into my jaw, bro. My jaw was clicking for two days. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Don't be scanning the bar. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the thing is, yeah, you know that I have a long reach. Yeah, I was does. trying to, you know, I'm, I'm go for a, I was trying to go for a hook, yeah. yeah. And he tried to duck. Then my hand went in the uh, head and saw the body. Yeah, Excuse me. That's the last time I've ever yeah. spotted. That's the last time I've ever spotted that day. <laughs> For yeah. real, <laughs> that really hurt. Now, nah, bro, <laughs> I'll put them out of commission real quick. Just say, now, nah, you, know, KSI elbow to the face. you need to go and take those girls. <laughs> yeah, Oscar's good at boxing. <laughs> you did the KSI elbow yeah, for a <laughs> KSI elbow for a job. Yes, bro. That was a you know, DQ, bro. I'm done. Um, no. You know, that was the first uh, my first time boxing, too. Like, it's kind of got me into boxing ever since. Well, you, yeah. Have you, oh, yeah, because you you sparred uh, or you fought Kevin Mayo, innit? Oh uh, yeah, that, I've way. sparred yeah. him. Yeah, <laughs> him. <laughs> he won I, 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 by August, voting. August twenty seven. Me and fucking Oscar. Right, I remember. I, can't, I remember that, bro. That made me cringe so much, man. Wait, what? <laughs> bro, bro, I love him, man. My mum was. I was the, doing the promo. It was like me and fucking Oscar. Uh, <laughs> forgot about that thing. Bro. That was. <laughs> hey, they should. Are all of them should come. Talk, Even like Tyson think- Fury. If you watch this, bro, who was that? Was my, that was Oli's no, thing, right? Yeah, Oli's. Bro, 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 don't don't talk about real, that thing. Real, real talk boxing. Real talk boxing. Bro, I love it. I was gassed. 
Fuck all nonsense is that I'll slap up everyone in that thing. You get right. me? We, we need a fight. Who won that then? Who, who won? Your Kev. Kev. I can't even remember. Kev. Oscar Kev, Kev you at him and then Kev just beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kev who threw a shoe. It's Kev threw a shoe, yeah. Kev, uh, Kev has, has a thicker Dublin accent than Conor McGregor. He, he will never fuck around. No. Sure. I want to take this opportunity to apologize to no absolutely. Okay. Wait, 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 you wait, are wait, Irish. Wait, you wait. are. A... No, you're part Irish. Uh, yeah. Well, right. Uh, like both my parents are Irish, isn't it? Oh, okay. But you grew up in uh northeast London, northwest North, northwest London, London, best part of London, north ends of London. Yes, sir. Shout out, Dave. Yeah. You know the thing He's is, she doesn't out. listen oh, yeah. to UK yeah. rap. Shout out, um, Davi Do. Shout hey. out, everybody. No. Shout out uh, yes, to the madmans back in the ends, you know. Bro, I, 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 all I, the you road know. mans, all the road runners, you know what I'm saying? All oh, my guys. You should be in Top Boy. Bro, you, 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 did you watch the original um, series of Top Boy, by the way? Yeah, I watched all of them. Yeah, I did. No, the I'm original really, ones. When did they put in the new season? That's what I'm saying. I, When's the new season coming no, out? No, no, the original. So I'm talking about yeah. Top Boy's Summer House. Yeah, you moved to Summer House, yes. You watched that one? Yeah. Okay. okay. You can you, apply, you can he didn't watch it. I he didn't watch it. Did. He did. didn't watch I it. I watched all the Top Boy. You watched Top Boy Summer House. It's not Netflix. No, I watched it's it. It's on our one. My Flix, sir. Bro, for me, that was better. That was better. Yeah. Than oh, me really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Bro, so have you, have you boys both yeah. watched it? Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, I did. Okay, right. Spoilers yeah, we'll for anyone it. who's not watched it and cares, all right? You ready? Yeah. Fucking skip the next one. Go ahead. Bruv, one of the most heartbreaking things I've ever seen. When the, you know when the house goes up in fire and he's at the top building, he's banging on the window, bruv. Yeah, it actually gets me sad because yeah, there's the kids still. Oh. There's people still in the house, right? Hey, bro, the hey, Joe yeah. Kano. Yeah, oh, but you thought he was an actor when you first saw that series. Yeah. Okay. He needs to listen to that. You need to listen to Kano's albums. Unbelievable. But um, Kano's mate, the the white guy, who's like I don't know, he's he's a bit. He's like homeless and that. I think he's homeless or he's like a drug addict or something like that. He go, they go to like Kent or something. And then they remember they're staying in like some like trap house in Kent. And then and then it goes yeah. on fire and he's in the top floor and he's banging these for like, help. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Wasn't that the guy who was like walking on the beach and then talking to um the one black guy? Yeah. Yeah, it was one of yeah. Kendall's prodigies. Uh, um, Kendo yeah. tried to save yeah, him well, he, when he, he was dies, in the yeah. house. Yeah, when, like that was, yeah. he's, he's he the guy dies. that says, like, "If you could do anything in the world, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go?" He goes, "I want to see Arsenal." That was his answer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for real. Hey, I'm over That's, here, bro. They need hey, to make a new pleasure. season. Why don't they do in the new season? <laughs> or is the uh, show canceled? Okay. Well, I suppose my, uh, another spoiler. Huh? Skip the minute. Another spoiler. My. Um, uh, I'm not spoiling. Not spoiling I'm ready, new I'm series. Ready. If you've seen the new series, no big deal. Obviously, my, what's his name? Michael. Michael Wood. My, Michael Wood's dead now, isn't it? Who, yeah. who, what's his character in Top Boy? Jamie. 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 Jamie's dead now. So yeah, yeah Jamie died. So I wonder if they will even do a new season. Yeah, at the end. Damn, that's a bad spoiler, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so people be mad. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, the new season is not out because, you know, uh, the director kept calling me, but I still need to finish writing, you know, uh, some few episodes. But I'm it's, getting there. I'm almost it. done. Now I haven't finished writing. Why are you saying you're writing? He's saying he is a great writer. Yeah, I'm writing the story for the new oh, season. Okay. Right. So anyone out okay. there, yeah, this is the and next season more. of Top Boy. I think season, so season five So based on that, this season season four. never coming out. Yeah. <laughs> Because the Oscars never. <laughs> It'll come it's out. It'll come out when GTA 6 I'll comes finish out. writing it. I just when need GTA to be inspired. When GTA 7 comes out, the new season of Top Boy will be out. <laughs> do, do I want to see, man? Do I want to you know see? I want to see in our bubble scripts. I think you two should write it. Bro, I could, bro I especially, especially like David, but I, I could, I, to be honest, I could say especially Oscar. I could see you both being sick of this. I feel like you could write a good fucking series. I feel like you could write a good like drama series. I can't lie. About in our bubble? I got one for you, bro. Actually, no, nah, like it's in like you could write. I can see you writing a good drama. I feel like you have it in you. You have it in drama. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I have, a, I have a story it. like I have a storyline for you. <laughs> sure. right here. Okay, so it's this guy called uh, Michael Bannon. Uh-huh. 
He's from um, Sao Tome and Principal, a country in somewhere in Africa. He takes the boat to New York through Colombia. He arrives in New York. He finds a man called Henry Henry <laughs> Haber. And Henry Haber decides, why are you laughing? Let me finish. Henry Haber gives him the opportunity to do two things for him if he wants to be established in America as an immigrant. It's either he goes to cooking school, then develop knife skills and becomes an assassin, or he goes to the army and develop gun skills and becomes a spy. And then he chooses the cooking school route, finishes, becomes an assassin, and then a few years later, he meets a uh, a Shaolin uh, a Shaolin monk who takes him to Japan show. to teach him the art of this is already a show. that that's a not that iron fist. And when he goes Isn't to that Japan, iron fist? <laughs> that, he was not a cook in New York. Wait, no, iron fist. No, he was found in the mountain after a, a, the jet Netflix. crash. It's not a show. I just. No, I just there, thought about it. Netflix, well, like, about, I just uh, thought about it. A guy who is like a chef, and then he actually is an assassin. It's on Netflix. I just watched it. I forgot the name of it now. I'll say, it's like really I'm dead series. Yeah, I'm I'm, so dead series. Hey, Connor was right then. I could write it. No, wait, I could write that, a plot. Was that the plot that talking about? Like, is like, that serious. already a series? It's not. Yeah, it's like that's a really okay. a series. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, right. Okay. What? <laughs> Well, he says it's a series or movie. I, I'm not sure. I a... Actually, I had this question. I had this question, yeah. yeah. So, Connor, if you were kidnapped and you had the option for someone to save you out of the seven people on name, who would you decide? Who right? would you choose to save you? I'll name ah, yeah, seven yeah. people. I like, I like this and you have to choose ah, who yeah. will save you. Where, wait, where am I okay. kidnapped? Please. So, where, where, where am I? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Any... Okay, you are kidnapped on an offside. Okay, let's say you are on a, on a black site in Russia, Siberia. off the map. Like no one knows where it is. Yeah, somewhere where it is. I don't know. It is freaking cold in the dark under the glacier. You have to be. Ex- you have to be safe. Who would you choose to save? You? Choose to save. So first, mm-hmm. you have Tyler Rake from Extraction. You've seen Extraction. Oh, what are you saying? Real uh, people, he knows. Yeah, oh, okay. no characters yeah. like this movie is movie characters. Yeah, like you have Tyler Rake from Extraction, you have James Bond no. 007, you have the Equalizer, you have uh Ethan Hunt from Mission Impossible, you have the Punisher. I was, about to say the Punisher. I was gonna say the and Punisher. you have John Wick. That's I, 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 out of the seven people you listed, I only know one. No, I don't know John Wick. I you don't know John Tyler Rake. I've never watched the movie. You've never watched John Wick. Okay. Come on. Nah. You gotta watch it. Bro, I, I, Damn. I, I can't lie, it's not my style of movie. Neither is like superhero movies and that. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Okay. You prefer no, superhero I, I, movies? No, I, I don't do that ever. I, I don't. I, yeah, I've never watched a superhero movie. Like, it's not my type of thing. Come on, man. So you don't like action movies? I kind of do. Like, Excuse there's like comedy and that. I don't know. Are you like a writer yeah. type person? Comedy. Like Kevin Hart slash think- The Rock. <laughs> I like it. I think I, I think I saw it. I like it. Or right like uh, Twenty One Jump Street. Oh, my spy. Yeah, that's my type. Of yeah, movie. Okay, that's okay. my type. Of movie. So like the Hangover and I things see. like that. Do you know my spy? The Hangover. That's yeah, the Hangover is funny. Yeah. Do you know my spy? Like oh, jo- oh uh, yeah, Batista. Mate, how, how's, how's his um his rebranding going? Because obviously to us he's Batista, but like. Is he is he successful among like is he has he done that rebrand correct like well is he like the guy now? He's in lots of movies. In Hollywood? Yeah, he's like in. He's is in he doing his thing? Like, is he good in that? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, my spot was actually good. I liked it. Yeah, my life is. I never, I never liked him. It's established. Who was your like favorite wrestler as a kid? <laughs> who's your favorite wrestler? When you when my you're a kid, wrestler. I don't watch it now, but like, who's your favorite wrestler as a kid? Well, uh, Nikoshima Nakamura. I, I don't remember him. I don't know if that's his first name. You don't know who that is? Okay, Undertaker. Undertaker. Yeah, I like, I like Undertaker. Or Rem- 
Undertaker and Rey Mysterio. Yeah, Rey Mysterio. Like, Rey Mysterio like is making, making top three, any. Uh-huh. And his son is coming up too, so uh, it's about to be a whole a whole shift in the WWE. Uh-huh. You know, you're not with this uh-huh. guy, wannabe wrestler slogan Paul. Bro, my man, man will be Logan Paul now. I'm sorry, mate. I'm I'm on that. By the way, I think I said I send it to I send it to any of you. Prime is just like yeah, I'm such a I'm so, I'm so this guy. I swear to God, I was excited when Prime came. I can't lie. I I'm, 23 years old. I'm 23 years old. I was what's actually favorite, excited. To what's your favorite one? Uh, it's all right. It's not even that good. Oh, it's no, that's not true. That's not true. I'm being a hater. It's nice. It's nice. Which Low one? Calorie as well. Uh. I like the punch one. I think the red pun- the punch the one's blue. Good. Have you ever read the blue? Um, that one's nice as well. That one's That's, nice as well. The nah, blue in the, uh, the blue, one. bro. The red one, the popsicle punch, and the, the 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 strawberry melon. I saw it for me. Uh, watermelon's most. I don't know what's blue happened to blue. watermelon, but it's had like the most insane PR over the last two years. Everyone fucking loves watermelon, bro. I swear to God, I don't know what's happened. There are more black people in the world now, so you know it's gonna Shit. be booming. Watermelon, watermelon, bro. I'm getting the appeal. <laughs> hey, one one melon is on his way to become the new orange. Uh, yeah, I think you it's know, ridiculous. Or- orange is in its is in a league of its own, yeah. right? So. It. Oh, Sprite got changed to like, bro. uh what's it called now? Sprite. There's a new um, one for Sprite. I don't know. Unless, uh, maybe in America. Unless it's, it's uh, I've never. You didn't hear that? I didn't even hear of that. There's another, like, Sprite. It's re- there is still Sprite, now. but there's like a new thing that's taken over. Huh? Really? I'll look into that. But hey, don't drink that shit. Sorry. You'd rather drink piss Sorry. than drink Sprite. Sprite, right. anyways. Brother, can I can I tell you, can I tell you what I'm most jealous about you two being in America? Is that you, you get to have Dr. Pepper go ahead. on right. tap in, in ARA? So, like, where, where you go to? Well, let's see. Kind of see. David, I could, barely, I could barely see you, to be fair, let alone this. <laughs> yeah, that thing. Story. Oh, that. That does look nice. Like, I've been seeing commercials. I can't really make out what it said. Story. Man. Yeah. Well, you were saying something about Sorry. Dr. Pepper. I, 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 I felt mean, I felt mean saying that about David's camera. But it's true. Uh, you're fr- like you're fr- you're frozen as we speak. No, nah, don't worry about him. He's still <laughs> yours. I got an idea. I'll send you Dr Pepper if you can send Fanta Exotic. Sorry, bro. I didn't catch that. You I'll send me Dr Pepper and what? Yeah. I'll send you Dr Pepper if you can send me some Fanta Exotic. Fanta Exotic is that yeah. the green one? It's like, you don't have that in America. <laughs> no, we don't. Bro, but I guarantee yeah. it's bad. Sweden drinks are way worse than, than America. Our, our fizzy beer. No, like, you, you lot have in Sweden. Nah. Uh, oh, fair. I don't know. I, but we had sugar tax. I don't know if Sweden had sugar tax. I think that's just a Sugar UK. tax. So maybe, maybe it's nicer in Sweden. What's that? Sugar tax. Yeah, it was like, it was a thing. Damn, was it, bust, was it a Boston match of yeah. sugar <laughs> Eighteen, eighteen oh nine. That's crazy. That's it's the type of thing that would make us have a re- revolution, sort of like what you had in seventeen seventy six. Or the tea party. Yeah, yeah, sugar the tea party. party. Now. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I've got to turn on my lights, bro. My, hang on, give me one Wait. second. Yeah. Oh, shit. He wants to turn on his lights. What do you want to want show to be us? As dark as us right now. Sauce. You gotta, you gotta pop out. <laughs> yeah, those want to be dark. I know. That's <laughs> that's a shift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was good. Hey, yo, Dave. What the craziest thing you done for money? Crazy fan. I say when I worked at Dairy Queen. I jumped into the lake at like yeah. 1 a.m. with all my clothes on for like $10. No one, no one uh, like okay. really goes that's, in that lake. That's not too crazy. That's... And I did like a little flip off the thing and then just like 
came out of the water and I was like freezing cold and then walked back into the restaurant like Dairy Queen and then got more food. Man. So yeah, ate some chicken nuggets all oh, the day. Freak. <laughs> Yeah, I had to figure out a way to tell my dad why I was soaking wet because he came to pick me up and he was like, What the? Because I was like, and I was like, We didn't have towels in the restaurant, so I had to like pat it off with like paper towels. <laughs> yeah, so I was like soaking wet because I was oh, like, oh, okay. dog. It was the funniest thing ever. Damn, I could, I could already <laughs> see his face. Damn, with him, he doesn't have his glasses on his nose. I can imagine his face. She doesn't listen to UK rap. If he and Connor or Oscar, she is six, but her friend is a four. A four way guy and make that 30. No idea what he's saying. Hey, hey, sign you. Hey, Connor. Uh, you feature me on the album, yeah. Dude, I need a feature, feature bro. I can feature give you a feature on my next verse. album. What, what, yeah. what can you bring to the table? A good verse, um, yeah, let, let mixing and mastering. I'm gonna hear some bars. We go bar for bar, okay. Go bar for bar, okay. So, hey, uh, hey, 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 chilling in the drop top, huh. calling me crop top. Borges in the building, making podcasts with Oscar, Connor, David, Iska, is mm. to eat. Hey, he doesn't know Kalinan. Hey, cooking a foreigner. I'm in a foreigner. Came not driving in the Beamer. Coming at Oscar, Camry, Toyota. That's mm. my right. Hey, I cannot freestyle. Bet you mm. give me a carter. Hey, when I'm coming on. Hey, G6 Street is the third. He put my Rambo Nev. Jeans twist, uh, turn, make uh, it dirt, six feet down. Hey, bleeds until he cannot see. Hey, I have ops in the backyard, in the basement. Hey, turn off the hold light. On, hold, on. <laughs> hold on, did you say you, did you say you were inside a quarry? <laughs> yeah. He's gone in, in the was, basement, man. He said he was inside, inside a foreigner. He literally said I was inside a foreigner. Yeah. A foreigner. I said foreigner. I said Camry is my daily drive. He was inside the car. And then he said Oscar, 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 like seven times. Hey. He said, I am bored. I'm doing a podcast with Oscar. I said, I was like, Oscar David. You are Oscar Oscar <laughs> David and Connor. <laughs> Borgia, Borgia and Oscar are two different people. Hey, Connor, ask this question to David Bear. What's the craziest Please. thing you've done for money? Have you, uh, have you two had this discussion about what's the craziest thing you've done for money? Yeah, yeah ask David. I, I want to know what you're doing. You sure? I, I, I'm not even sure if, I, if I've done anything crazy for money. I can't even lie. I probably, I may, probably, probably, That's but insane, I can't bro. remember. Probably. I'll tell you what you did for money. You went, you took the train, the red line, you went That's to Rasid and 63rd, you said, fuck the disciples, then Dude. you took the train. Who <laughs> paid me for that again? Uh, I remember it was I some guy in named Eduardo. I think you'd be in a casket on the way on that train if Venezuela. you said that. I don't think you'd be. I don't think you'd be. I think you'd not even be buried. His, his body would just be laid down right there. He's still there. Trust me. That's the same, bro. Oh, wait, I got to trust the process. Yo, uh, if someone came to but, London or UK, what would you recommend them to do? Uh, so or like it, for me, I'm. I'm I'm proper uncultured. Like I don't like I don't care about museums that much. Yeah. Like uh, th- to be fair, there's a museum quite close to me that's quite cool, like the RAF museum. It's like World War Two, World War One airplanes. Um, but like in terms of like if you're gonna have a good time, go yeah. Camden. Um, go Electric Ballroom in Camden if you're going for like a session. Like go Camden Markets. Um, yeah, man. Uh, like, what about nice Harold? Food. Go to, go to some Irish pubs, go to some English pubs, but Irish pubs are better in my opinion. Um, uh, yeah, man, there's, there's tons of, hmm. there's tons of, there's tons of Where, stuff. Would Harold's be a good? Go to, 
Yeah. My, my level of what I enjoy about London. Yeah. It's like, I'd say go to a chicken shop. Like, ch- like, like go chicken shops. Um, get, get, oh. get full English breakfast. Like, that's Ooh. my type of shit, to be honest. Nice. Yeah, some man. chicken Ooh. shops. Okay. Here well, we go into some chicken shop dates, like, yeah. I went to Minnesota. What are like you'll say you'll say in that bit go to the airport, of America. Go back to the airport and then go back home. <laughs> Good. Bro, I, I, I heard you in that episode say Minnesota, people from Minnesota are proper nice. Like, they're really funny in Minnesota. They're, they're decent, yeah. 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 I'll tell you something. If you come to Maryland, what you can do, what you can do, yeah. You take your legs. You go to Washington DC. This guy standing in front of the Maryland, White House. He's mugging it off. You say, <laughs> "What is Maryland?" <laughs> I'm, I'm saying good things. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't. He that was oh, Minnesota right, right. I was talking Sorry. about. I, I'm nothing but just about Maryland. You know, uh, shout out the DMV. You know, it's a whole game of Cameroonians in Maryland. So <laughs> that's what right. you should expect. Are you, are you, are you about to Cameroon, Oscar? <laughs> yeah, love, love. Like, it, uh, when, no, like, say in, like, it's 10 time, years, yeah. where do, you, do you think you'll ever, like, say, would you ever live in Cameroon again, do you think? Yeah, 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 for sure. When, you know, I'm already an established engineer with a practicing license. So, nice. and do nice. business there. Well, what would you, well, if I was to go to Cameroon yeah, now, where, no, which to. city would you recommend me and where should I go in that city? Like, what, should, what should I do? Uh, <sighs> go to Bawana. Go to Kribi. Kribi, yeah. Fish. <laughs> Go to Douala, yeah. That's <laughs> MBA is not from Douala, it's from Yaoundé. But yeah, go to Kribi, yeah. They have nice fish, the the sea, you know, you live by the sea. Or you know, it'll be nice. Go to Douala. Nice. There are different things to do. It's quite expensive, but you know, not I'm for you up. obviously. Yeah, you but, big pay yeah. Construction those construction pay are going not... crazy. Man, you... Lindor in America. Lindor. Yeah, the chocolate. Bruv, I bought a pack of Lindor yesterday. That's yeah. the type of paper I'm on here. That's yeah, good. Man. That's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. I'm like stacking. No, I mean, have you ever bought something from like, Harold? Like, or no? In England, we have something called, we have something called sarcasm. It's nah. Quite bit, it's quite big over here. <laughs> Wait, the, what were the chocolates at the dollar store? What Remember was when we it? Went to the What's dollar that? store to buy chocolates and stuff for... Uh, uh you know, dinner. yeah, it might have been that. Yeah, dollar store, dollar store is expensive, but that's the type of laziness I have. <laughs> it's probably that's true. Yeah, man. The rain. What's, What's the worst thing about London? Bro, I feel like a you know I feel like a prick earlier for what I said. Do you know how I was like, oh, worst thing about England is everyone's complaining and all that. I feel like yeah, it's because people have genuine stuff going on. But it's like, uh, but, but it's like, or, I don't know. I, yeah, I feel like, yeah, I shouldn't have like judgment about it. But it's more, I think America just fit fit better with, with like the way I am. But also it's my privilege as well. It's like, I've got a lot, I've had a lot of privileges in my life where, where stuff like, yeah. the, uh, where I'm lucky that like the, the troubles of everyday life don't get on top of me because I have like, do you know what I mean? I have a family that like, I'm good. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really worried about money because I don't like. Yeah. So. So like. And this is the thing. Like English struggling right now. Like, a, I don't know if you. I don't know if you have this in America. Like, it's a worldwide thing or just anything. But uh, have you ever heard of cost of living crisis? Is that a thing in in America? Cost of living crisis. Yeah. Um. I think so. Like, like, like in England, man, Pretty like, sure. Something like, similar since to the that. pandemic. Like it's been peak. Like it's been like re- it's been really hard for so many people. Um, and I think I think in this time, in the last f- few years, England's become like far more. At least in my view, but this is anyway. Um, England's become far more insulated. People don't speak to each other as much, and like there's everyone's a bit. In my opinion, everyone's like quite downbeat. Um, not everyone, but like there's just a. Yeah. I don't know there's not a good vibe about the country for the past few years. Um, and that and pro and that that I think I think like political, fucking uh, social reasons. There's social reasons for that. So, so when I say like, oh, I don't like the way people complain. Everyone's always moody. I have to I have to also mention like, like, 
I, I'm lucky that I don't have a lot of problems that a lot of people, like really loads of people are dealing with right now. So mm. like, yeah. But so, so I'd say the worst thing about England for me generally is like, is a criticism that is completely understandable as to why that's happened. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's what I'd say. So, it, even, yeah, so in definitely. that sense, it's not even really a criticism. It's like, yeah. Hmm. That's valid. That's <laughs> valid. That's game right there. That's valid. Hey, I'll be, I'll be complaining too if I was English, bro. You probably be king. Fucking years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I'll hey, I'll kill try. myself. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, Irish, man. Bro. Hey, we're glad to have <laughs> you on. <laughs> we're glad to man. have you on, bro. My Thank class. you for coming, guys, bro. Fun this is sick, man. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. fun. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, you know, leave us a review if you're listening on the audio like, platform. Comment, subscribe yeah, yeah. to our YouTube channel. Leave yep. us a like. Sponsor. Give us your feedback. Uh, the sponsor of today's nah, not yet. Uh, episode is. You want to sponsor customers. us? <laughs> I thought I thought I thought it's Bluetooth. Oh, and Bluetooth, <laughs> yeah. Along the last direction. Blue. Okay. A bluetooth wherever you are Apple. your boys are out right here we're, we're out here with full blown erections <laughs> um, uh, oh god <laughs> and, so and you want the long minute. episode so you have how, a long how episode how long was your, um, was your episode with Shy Girls how, how long was that episode an hour, an hour, like an hour we're two. doing an hour yeah. that was going to be a longest episode yeah Stay on the yeah, we'll keep it there. If shy girls, if shy girls are listening and they want to come back, shout, shout and shout run it girls, again. They, they, I thought, that was my favorite. Yeah. I, thought, I thought that was really good. Hey, yeah, I know what's your favorite episode. You know what I mean? Hey, this is somewhere. Okay, I ended it. If I keep talking, we must finish this episode. Very uh, unprofessional. <laughs> Stay on. Like, I'm looking for IOB pod. Give me one second. <laughs> yeah. Our bubble podcast. Uh, uh, well, why are you looking us up? All right, I like your intro music, by the way. One hundred two thirty-two. Thank you. Let this run for let this run for ten seconds longer yeah? <laughs> to make it as long as theirs. <laughs> I just want it one oh two. I want it one oh two thirty three. Okay, I bet. lads, it's been a pleasure. Okay, let's, pleasure, let's pleasure, do it. Man. Would you say, yeah. my guys, love boys? Um, yeah, man, thank yeah, you, man. Lord. Subscribe, yeah. comment, follow Subscribe. Uh, Connor. Listen to his Keep music. Listening. We'll put his uh, Spotify or something in the show notes below. <laughs> and yeah, my guys, support. Thank you, boys. This. Love, man. Well, when's this up? Yeah, man. Hey. Much love, Monday. Bro. Monday. By the time yeah. they listen, imagine to by the time they listen. Yeah, it's our out. Monday. Yeah, when they listen to it, it'll be out. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> till the end uh, of the July summer. July yeah, seventeenth, it will be out. I've not mentioned this, but yeah, to <laughs> okay, seventeenth. What the heck? Well, to the to the end of the summer. Every Monday, it's every Monday Fair will play. be losing. Yeah. Well. We we'll shift from Monday Friday to Monday, Monday right, but we'll get back on that Friday thing soon. It's just that some people... Yeah. So we'll do two episodes two a week. week. We'll keep All that right, there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the longest outro ever. Uh, huh? It's... Uh... Hey Connor, give us give us a sniper. Oh, yeah. What no, we no, were no, expecting on the album? A give us a sniper. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, send it to send it to send me it or to David and yes, put it in the album. Because it's it's we'll been mixed and mastered. Intro, we'll outro. This outro has been fucking ridiculous. Uh, it's been mixed and mastered. Um, and like Reggie, uh, my producer, he's he's listen over to it one more time. He's going to send it to you tomorrow, so I can send it to you as soon as I get. Uh, it. Yeah, send it to Oscar, so then he can merge it into the. Okay, I, I appreciate that, boys. By the way, Ooh. or you can send any, you can yeah. send any section of it, any song if you prefer, and we'll just Thank put you, it as the that. outro of this episode. Much love, yeah, for sure. That's hey, true. you guys support this boy. 
Like no, no, junior, no, 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 bro, I feel like this senior, is... Seniors photography and that. And Oscar, <laughs> but if you, if you want, but this, Oscar, is this your big side hustle? I'm, I can't believe this. I can't believe this podcast has continued from this. This is the longest outro ever. But I have to ask Oscar, <laughs> outside of this podcast, is there any side hustles that you need to big up? Is there, is, is there anything coming? No, 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 not yet. Not anything. Uh, not, not anything in the meantime for now. It's seen, it's seen, it's seen as photography, it's a, seen as flicks. Yeah, it's the, it's the other side. Obviously, this is your problem. Yes. Well, I've been staking senior <laughs> flicks, so if you're promoting me, you're promoting me too. Yes. Uh, David, are you, are you looking yeah. to be a, a photographer full time? Like, once you're finished university, possibly, you want to be a, a. Possibly. I'm getting some new. Yeah. Well, what, it's going to be what, crazy. Good. It's coming soon. So I'm going to get like a 300 millimeter lens. So it's going to be quite big so that's gonna be nice and then i'm gonna get some uh more like gear all right oh yeah man i'm i'm curious his, his his photos are fucking unbelievable and like the, the way i could, the, I could the, do the, a shoot the, for you the, the last year bro it was incredible man. <laughs> i can do a shoot for you bro, I I from that that, uh, cover for Floor, a, better, yeah, a, rapper a while ago so i could do a cover for you uh you you coming to the states my guy i appreciate it, bro 100 100 yeah. cut man I'll ask you, or I'll come to London uh, and do one. Hey, all right. Sweet, yeah, bro, hundred percent. You, you boys, if you if ever you come to London, man, you got you got somewhere to stay. Hell yeah. Yeah, I saw you were uh, with uh, us, yeah. well, Sam, a few weeks ago. Yeah, you guys were on. You guys uh, started smoking guy, that bro. thing again. No such thing. Watch out. I smoke. <laughs> I, smoke I smoke air and nothing else, man. Tweaking, tweaking. Hey, manga oxygen and carbon dioxide. In. My my smoking out the gas bottle. <laughs> hey, subscribe. Thank you guys for listening. Sometimes your best self is simultaneous with the hardest of times. I've never felt so confident and anxious. I'm 50 down with the boys and getting wankered, but I just ain't the same. Said I really ain't the same. I had women on my brain. For reasons I'd explained Gave it all and I had nothing to give Now I'm feeling so enlightened But also I'm insane Said I've also gone insane But have I even? Or reluctant to change? The harsh glamour of a tortured artist Lost in his brain And I recognise my ego when I say it Allow having therapy I think I'd rather spray it I come to grips with my genuine smile I know that it's been lost for a while Pain is what I needed Just to capture my style And change the man that I was gonna be with the unhinged thoughts of a child who thought the world was just a load of blaggers I was destined for spite, hateful, overweight and just fucking haggard I'm grateful that I lost that in depression I know that I've been late to all my lessons I know that I'm a state in all these sessions